Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Makeup Basics 101 series. So what all have we visited? We have gone through primer, foundation, concealer, setting and baking, contouring and bronzing, and now we're going to touch on brows because that is that would technically be my next step. Now. There is a lot of different brow products. There's a lot of different ways to go about doing your brows. The, I mainly use a pomade. Um, as you saw in the priming video, the way I start off my brows is I will go in with my primer and then I'll take a brow gel. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it, but I will brush the hairs in opposite direction. When you do that, it helps the brow gel really get at that root. Now they have clear brow gel, they have tinted brow gel. When you're doing your brows, you wanna make sure you match. I'm gonna raise that. When you're doing your brows, regardless of if you're using a pencil, a gel, a pomade, um, they make brow cushions, a powder, whatever you're using, you want to make sure that if you have darker brows, you are either the shade of your brow or maybe a shade darker. You don't wanna to go too dark because that's when they don't look natural. Um, I use a deep brown. I have deep brown eyebrows. So I use a deep brown brow, brow whatever I'm using. Now, when it comes to actually doing my brows, this is where it's gonna get fun. All right, so I have, I use a pomade. So I have my Jeffree Star brush here. It has a spoolie on one end and it has the brush on the other. What I like to do is brush my brows back in their natural place. That is going to help show me where my line is. And then I will, on the outer parts, I will brush them so when I'm doing my line for the bottom, I brush my hairs up. And I like to start with the side that gives me the most problems, which believe it or not, is my right side. My left side, I can do flawlessly every single time. It's the weirdest thing. All right, so today I'm using the e.l.f. Brow Pomade in the shade Espresso. And I'm just gonna lightly dip my brush in there and then I'm gonna disperse the product on the lid. I'm gonna get a mirror and I'm gonna get pretty up close and personal with my face here. I'm gonna start right here. I'm not starting at the inner portion of my brow because I don't want that part of my brow to be super dramatic. And I'm just gonna follow it's okay if you make a mess, we're gonna clean them up. I'm gonna follow my natural brow here. Made a little bit of a mess, we'll be okay. And then I'm gonna fill in a little bit where I need to. And then I'm gonna brush them down. That's gonna allow me to see my angle of my where I need to go for the top part it's a lot easier when your brush is like a hundred percent clean just saying my brush is not so same thing starting right here brushing backwards now I don't go completely across what I like to do take my spoolie and disperse that product That's gonna help fill in from jump. It's also gonna help create a natural arch for me. And I just, every time I touch the brush to my face, I go through and I brush. And then once I get to the tail, 
I lightly go through and do this. And then I'm going to take, I'm not going to do it at an angle anymore. I'm going to have it to where this part touches. Like so. Now if I feel I need to, I will go through and sharpen up that arch a little bit and then fill in some sparse areas right there. Now we are going to do the front portion of our brow. What I do is, see how the brush is angled? I take that angle to where the angle is pointing away from the inner corner of my eye and I drag her forward like so. And then I will gently brush up just to soften that line. Now my corner that is pointing up is going to be pointing towards my eye. And I'm going to just lightly flick. Just to kind of fill in that sparse area. Okay, so I'm going to hop off camera and do my other brow, and then we'll come back, we'll clean them up, and make them all pretty. Okay, we are back. So when you're using a pomade or a cushion or anything like that, you want to make sure you seal it very, very well. Okay, so to clean up my brows, I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer. This is the Pretty Vulgar Pretty Little White Lies. Okay. And then I'm going to take a flat brush like this. I'm going to very lightly dip into that flat brush, dip that flat brush into the concealer that is on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to go through and clean up these outer edges. And then I'm going to drag it down onto my, onto my lid. So, do the same thing on this side. do the same thing and just outline those brows like so. Except for when I, instead of brushing it upwards, I'm going to pat it in place. And then I'm going to go over it with a sponge. Okay. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you are a brow pro or it really doesn't even matter what you are, how comfortable you are with your brows. Your brows are not twins. They're cousins or sisters. Sometimes they're cousins twice removed. Okay? You're, it's, it's okay. Because first of all, your brows don't grow in identical to begin with. Like they don't. Also keep in mind, if you have 
for all it's worth, you have good brows from Jump. Have a professional go through and clean them up. Do not do it yourself, please. Um, now, cleaning them up with concealer is not a necessary step. It is something I really enjoy doing. It helps make them look sharper. And it just makes me feel better about my routine. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this was nice and informative for you. Um, now, what you can do if you're done setting your face. We're going to erase all of that. Um, what you're done. When you're done, you can go through and you can use some brow gel. This is going to help lock in whatever you used. It's going to help lock it in place. Um, if you're just getting started with brows, I recommend a clear brow gel. It's going to not, it's not going to move the product around. It's not going to leave little specks. Um, and if you're using a pencil, you're pretty much gonna do the exact same thing. Start by lining your bottom, brush your hairs down, outline your top, and then just with natural little flicks, go through. You wanna make it look like, if you're using a brush, you wanna make it look like hair. So natural little hairs in the way your brows grow. So they grow up here, usually. Right around here is where they stop growing up and they start growing back, and then down here, they actually go like this so make sure you're following the natural hairs of your eyes <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching i hope this video was informative for you and make sure you stay tuned because the next video is blush in blush highlight and setting powder we're putting all of them in one that's right all of them in one or setting spray, I'm sorry, blush highlighting and setting spray, all in one video. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.